Oftentimes, people are curious what happens to the skin after it's been removed during Mohs surgery. This is a tour of our histology lab and a brief explanation of the different steps that your skin goes through during the processing so that I or another Mohs surgeon can examine your skin under the microscope and tell whether or not we've gotten all of the skin cancer out. The first step when the specimen comes in is to get a glass slide. The specimen is placed on the slide and it is attached to the slide. Following this, we come over here and there is a product called cryogel, which is then placed over the specimen. This gel freezes at the same temperature as human tissue. So when we go to freeze the skin, it provides a nice protective cover and also holds the skin so that the tissue can be sliced and slides can be made. The Mohs Surgery Lab uses a frozen section technique. And so in this case, we then take the slide over to this histobath, which is very, very cold. We use these tongs to take the specimen that also has that medium on it, and we freeze it in this bath for a certain amount of time. Once the specimen has been frozen, now it's firm enough that we can go and make slides and slices out of the tissue. So we come over here to this machine, which is called a cryostat. Within the cryostat, you will see this holds the chuck. We take the tissue and we apply it to one of these. With your specimen here, we put it inside of the microtome and you see a blade here. So now with your skin here and a blade here, this essentially like in the deli, will advance your specimen onto the blade and it slices very thin specimens, usually only about five to eight microns. You can then take another slide and get that tissue onto the slide. When it's on this slide, you will not be able to see the tissue under the microscope. It'll be totally clear. That's where we come and ink the specimen so that when we look at it under the microscope, we'll see the tissue with usually a range of pink and purple to blue. So we attach the slide to one of these holders. Like a conveyor belt, this connects to here. And essentially this machine takes the slide through all these inks and allows the tissue to be stained. Once it's done, we then have slides like this, where you can see this is the first stage of Mohs. In this case, the edges were still positive, so we had to go back for a second stage. And then you can see after this stage, the patient was clear. The ink creates these purple and pink colors that allow me to tell what is skin cancer and what is not under the microscope. So then when the slides are ready, this is our microscope, and we can then examine the tissue under the microscope. And I can see when I look at this skin that there is no basal cell, which is what the patient originally had. Basal cell can have several appearances under the microscope, but most commonly you'll see very dark blue cells that seem to separate from the normal tissue. So it is under the microscope, usually clear whether there's basal cell or not.